This little thing can do a lot. It can control pressure, flow, temperature, or level, all electronically, while giving you remote feedback and releasing zero natural gas emissions. It's called the electric pilot. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up for control in six common oil and gas applications. Hi, I'm Jordan with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. In a previous video, Kyle showed you how to use the electric pilot with an actuator and an I2P in a package we call the electric valve controller. But this little guy can do so much more than that. It can receive and send any four to 20 milliamp signal. You could think of it as a miniature PLC. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up for these six applications. If the unit is new, your screen will say undefined. If it's been used, then you'll need to reset the pilot by holding the up and down buttons for five seconds. Let's say you want to use it for gap control on a separator. Our goal in this application is to keep the separator at a pressure range in between two set points. First, we need to set the pilot for a specific pressure on the upstream side. From the home screen, toggle through the sensor types until you get to pressure and press select. Now toggle through the units. We're gonna choose PSI for this application and push select. Now use the up and down buttons to choose your maximum set point. Once you've reached it, press select. Then use the up and down buttons to choose your minimum set point. Press select. Now choose your application. In this case, it's SCAP control. Now choose your opening pressure. We'll choose 500 PSI. Once you've reached 500 PSI, then press select. Now choose your closing pressure. We are using 50 PSI. Once you've reached your closing pressure, press select. Now choose run mode and press select. Now your valve is set up for gap control. Let's say you want the pilot to maintain temperature control. Our goal in this application is to keep the temperature of a vessel like a heater treater in between two temperatures. From the home screen, toggle to your sensor type. We'll use temperature in this case, and then press select. Select your unit of temperature. In this case, we'll be using degrees Fahrenheit and then press select. Use the up and down buttons to choose your maximum set point, and then press select. Then use the up and down buttons to choose your minimum set point and press select. Now choose the application. In this case, we'll use high limit and then press select. Now choose your high limit set value. We're gonna use 450 degrees. Now choose run mode and press select. Now your valve is set up for temperature control. Let's say you wanna use the electric pilot for suction control. Our goal here is to control the pressure downstream of our valve. Use the up button to toggle through sensor type until you reach pressure and then press select. Use the up and down buttons to toggle through the units of pressure. Choose your unit, either KPA or PSI, and press select. Choose your sensor maximum and then press select. Then choose your sensor minimum and press select. Use the up and down buttons to toggle to application. For suction control, it will be PR reducing. Choose your set point and then press select. From this point, move your mode into manual, then press select. Use the up and down buttons to move open the valve until you're about five to 10% below your set point, then press select. Now choose auto tune and press select. The pilot will now take over. Let's say you'd like to use it for a back pressure application. Our goal is to hold pressure on a separator so that it can dump fluids and gas at the appropriate rate. Use the up button to toggle through sensor type until you get to pressure and press select. Now toggle through the units. We're going to choose PSI for this application and push select. Use the up and down buttons to select the sensor maximum and then press select. 
Then use the up and down buttons to select the sensor minimum and press select. Applications will now appear on the screen. Toggle through until you reach back pressure and then press select. Toggle up or down to select your set value and then press select. Toggle to auto-tune. In back pressure applications, you do not need to manually adjust the valve before auto-tune, since the sensor is on the upstream side and already pressurized. Now let's set up the electric pilot exclusively as a timer. The goal in this application is to signal an electric actuator to fully open or close a control valve at specific set intervals. Use the up and down buttons to toggle to timer only and press select. Set the hold open time with the up or down button. The values here are in quarters of an hour and the screen shows this in decimal points. 0.25 equals 15 minutes, 0 0.50 equals 30 minutes, and so on. Once you've reached your desired hold open time, press select. Use the up and down buttons to set the hold close time and press select. Set your mode to run and then press select. Now your pilot is set to signal the actuator to open or close the valve at these timed intervals. Finally, let's set the electric pilot for flow control. The goal in this application is to keep the flow rate consistent across an orifice for measurement. Toggle through the sensor types to flow, and then press select. Use the up or down buttons to choose your desired units and press select. In this instance, we'll select gallons per minute. Use the up and down buttons to select sensor maximum and then press select. Then use the up and down buttons to select sensor minimum and press select. Toggle through until you reach your application. You can do PNID direct or indirect. We will be using indirect. Toggle up or down to choose your set value and then press select. Now choose manual and press select. Run your CO percentage up until you get 5 to 10% of your set point. Press select twice. Now choose auto tune and press select. We have an array of smart products designed to help you improve your efficiency and lower your emissions. Check out kimray.com emissions to learn more.